Yo, what's up, Diggity Dogs? Give me a high five! Today we're going to be ranking something uh, very special to me, Pop Tropic Island. Funny thing is, I have not played most of these islands in like 10 years, but uh, still, I uh, love uh, me some Pop Tropica. So, we're gonna be ranking the Pop Tropica Islands. Okay, Wimpy Kid Island, that is A tier. Uh, as many of you know, Pop Tropica had the same creator as Dire for Wimpy Kid, which is one of the few, but one of the very few books you could actually get a, a middle schooler to enjoy reading. Uh, I didn't find discover re in my love of reading until I was 18, uh, reading a Stormlight Archive, but still, great way to integrate uh, Dire for Wimpy Kid and Pop Tropica together. Uh, Wild West, a uh, great example of, uh, use, uh, they used all of the uh, Wild West tropes, like the saloon, the, uh, un the, uh, Evil Bandito guy, I'm um, uh, basically just G-rated car cartoony uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, uh, cryptids. Uh, B tier, uh, I mean, uh, I, okay, A tier, just because it was a great adventure all, over, all the way. Uh, Red Dragon Island, uh, B tier, I mean, that's a good, uh, series, but, um, just felt like a theme park version of, uh, Japan or East Asian cultures. Uh, Mystery Train Island, I love the, uh, 1910s aesthetic, uh, kind of like, uh, very much reminded me of Bioshock Infinite. But, uh, Mystery Train is kind of cliche, so, um, only B tier. Shrink, Shrink Ray Island, it was a creative idea, a bit small. Uh, sh yep, uh, and it was basically just Ant-Man, uh, very clever uh, use of, uh, their things. Super Power Island, one of the, uh, first Pop Chopka Islands, uh, B t uh, B tier, just because, like, a lot of the puzzles, are uh, kind of, uh, shallow, stuff like that, but, uh, also, and also, uh, shallow superhero parody, but, like, uh, it's very good, I'm, uh, good at, like, just, like, a brief example of the genre. Uh, Time Tangled Island, uh, the time, uh, at, seeing as Loki came out, uh, that's also a classic, uh, A tier, like, I mean, back when Pop Tropica was still, like, a bit of an educational game, uh, good example of, uh, time jumping, uh, Lewis and Clark to the, uh, ancient China, and, a uh, very, uh, cool, uh, example of, uh, time travel fiction. Early Pop Tropica, C tier, uh, simply because it's just, like, I mean, it's an early island, doesn't really age that well. Plus, there's the depiction of Native American, which is, which is uh, expectedly shallow. Big Nate Island, I didn't read those books, but apparently it's getting a Nickelodeon show, uh, and it manages to capture the art style, so uh, good for them. Spy Island, that's a B tier, it's a classic uh, Pop Shop Guy Island, uh, had a final boss battle in it. Or something like that. Uh, I mean, uh, spy fiction, I'm a fan of, uh, uh, not really, don't really, uh, not, not really interested in that. 24 Carat Island, A tier classic, introduced one of the classic, uh, Pop Tropica villains, uh, a great example of, I mean, like this, uh, had that, like, uh, dark aesthetic, like, uh, how it starts out as exploring a missing person's case and runs downtown and ending up, uh, uh, f uh with a, ending with a rocket and brain, and a brain control device, it was pretty dark for its era. Sharktooth Island, C tier, uh, pretty shallow puzzles and stuff like that. It was a uh, good while it lasted, but not nothing special. Nabuti Island, uh, A tier. I mean, uh, great that they explored African cultures. Uh, a lot of mystery to it, though. Uh, B tier actually, because I feel like the mystery was uh, like the plot twist. Well, it's kind of like uh, I mean, touch. I mean, given like uh, I mean, Choose Your Own Adventure is good, uh, and uh, African cultures just that ending was kind of like uh, weird. SOS Island, that is an A tier island, uh, the mo easily one, I mean, it was one of the shorter islands, but like, by, I mean, how it manages to turn like a sinking ship, obviously a reference to Titan Titanic into the, one of the most dynamic maps in all of Pop Tropica, changing every time, uh, all, like, had to save every person. Game Show Island, uh, B tier, because it's one of the more bizarre premises, I have to stop a robot revolution by competing in game shows. Uh, that one, uh, wasn't as good as the other one, but it was still pretty, had a lot of good moments. Yep, oh, I'm getting another call, uh, from Ramsey and Jay, no. Pop Trop, get pop, the Pop Tropolis games, uh, C tier, because, uh, uh no D tier, because I have bad memories of, uh, playing that island while my parents were yelling at me to get ready to leave, uh, uh, hotel room or something. 
uh, the Castlevania Island, uh, A tier, uh, very good setting, uh, and they, and it was one of, but B tier because, uh, no, B tier because they introduced paid DLC into this. Uh, Ghost Story Island, uh, C tier, not really that, ma uh, interesting. Twisted Thicket, S tier, love the, like, uh, forest, uh, uh, e like, Twisted Forest aesthetic, uh, I remember being so hyped for that when I was, t when I was 11, uh. How, like great sense of mystery and like even though it's basically just a uh, uh, pop tropica moment okay it's uh, still a, a lot of fun moments charlie and the chocolate factory uh a tier because it's uh based on it has it's a uh, shame franchise is uh my fourth favorite film of all time but uh a tier because it's but not s tier because it's not based off of the uh, definitive version uh lunar colony uh that was uh uh b tier because uh, i feel like uh it was, I mean, it starts out as a, a good example of like, oh, here's the wonders of space travel, and the beginning was kind of dumb, and but uh, and the uh, ending uh, with the aliens was uh, also dumb. Uh, the Night's Watch Island uh, never played. Uh, Zomberry Island, uh, that is another S tier island. I mean, it's basically just G rated Resident Evil, but like, damn, did they manage that uh, like zombie apocalypse, like the sealed off town, the watching the uh, lab report, uh, very. Uh, very well written uh, scenario. Super Villain Island. Okay, let me just tell you what the premise is. You go after super villains, go into their th um, theme dungeon heads, and steal an object that, that uh, an important object in their heads that um, uh, once taken will uh, cause them to have a change of heart. Sound familiar? Let me uh, give you a hint. They'll never see you coming. Na 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 na. Uh, never played. Skullduggery Island, uh, that is another S class, S tier island. It's basically Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Yo ho, yo ho, pirates life for me. Yo ho, yo ho, murdering fools for free. But anyway, there is the, one of the most satisfying moments in all of Pop Tropica was just get, managing to get the uh, Phoenix Warbird after like managing your economics, battling other ships. And sailing the high seas. Reality TV, that was basically just uh, A tier because it was basically just total drama. Astronauts, okay, that I'm just gonna say this is that is my already that is my second favorite island. It is the perfect blend of Arthurian legend and uh, space travel. Each location was memorable, like having ma mixing like a genuinely interesting aesthetic, like cool battles. And with like uh, being a genuinely exciting piece of sci-fi, and my favorite villain in uh, all of Pop Tropica, uh, uh, I mean uh, Binary Bard, awesome island, highly recommend. Steamworks Island, and now we get to my favorite island of all, Steamworks Island. Uh, they just blow some steam on us punks. I mean steampunk. I mean, but with apart from Bioshock uh, and uh, Bioshock Infinite, doesn't get that. I mean, uh, it's kind of like, uh, I mean, a terrible writing device already did a, a video on the problem with Steamworks, but like, this is one of the best pieces. Unlike every other thing, you, there are no other people when you arrive, and you, and it's just like, very good aesthetic, even if there's no sound, like, and you slowly realize that, that everything, was, that the plant monsters took over everything, uh, and it's just like, a great piece of sci-fi, of course. Mythology Island, A tier, uh, I mean like a uh, Greek myth, it's basically just Percy Jackson. And uh, they uh, removed all the uh, less than family friendly elements. Counterfeit Island, I uh, loved that island when I was a kid. I, um, uh, as you know, I'm a huge fan of mir miraculous ladybugs, so I love uh, the nation of Francia and the Franks as a people. Great Pumpkin Island, I mean, I'm just giving that A tier for nostalgia, like I'm managing to capture the uh, Peanuts aesthetic, uh, we all love Peanuts. Know that one. I don't, uh, don't know that. Uh, camp. No. Yeah, I don't. Know. Yeah, I don't know these uh, colored islands. So there it is. My rankings for a good chunk of the Pop Tropic Islands. Uh, very nostalgic for me to do this. And uh, see y'all next time. See you on the Creature Trail.